Welcome to this 18th lecture on calculus of variations. In this lecture, we will look at the problems where in our functional f x y y dash dx j of y, the input curve is not of the form y is equal to y x, but it is of the parametric form that we have x in terms of some parameter t and y in terms of some parameter t. Okay. So instead of having this relationship between x and y, x is your dependent independent variable and y is dependent we have x is a function of some parameter t and y is a function of some parameter t we would like to know what what will be the Euler's equation in this case we know that in this case the Euler's equation is fy minus dy by dx of fy dash is equal to zero right now we would like to see if our functional is uh, our input curves our admissible functions are of this form parametric form then how do the Euler's equation how does that Euler's equation look okay so for that uh, suppose i have this parametric representation of my curve y is equal to y of x i have this parametric representation then in this integral i i need to find out what is dx in terms of dt and what is this y dash okay so y dash is basically dy by dx and i can write it as dy by dt that is the derivative of y with respect to t divided by derivative of x with respect to t and I'll denote this by y dot, where dot represents the derivative with respect to t. Okay, so I have y dash is equal to y dot upon x dot. This is one relation I have. And then I have dx by dt is equal to x dot. Therefore, I have dx is equal to x dot t times dt. This is the second thing I have. So this functional will turn out to be equal to f x y y dot upon x dot times x dot dt right from some t1 to t2 here we had this from x1 to x2 right this is our new j okay uh, now you can see this is a function of x and y where both x and y depends on t so we have seen functional of this form x y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash dx okay so compare it with this we have this i am calling it g g of t where t explicitly is missing x y x dot y dot okay where x dot denotes the derivative with respect to t dt so these two are same okay and we already know the Euler's equation for this particular functional form of functional right we know that if the functional is of this particular form then the Euler's equation is that there are two Euler's equation those are f y1 minus dy by dx of f1 y1 dash is equal to 0 and f y2 minus dy by dx of f y2 dash is equal to 0 right here the there, there will be two constants in the solution of this equation and two constants in the solution of this equation and we have four boundary conditions x1 to x2 here also we have x specified at t1 something x1 and x specified at t2 that is x2 y specified at t1 that is y1 and y specified at t2 that is y2 we can use these four equations to find out the arbitrary constant four relations right conditions basically so if we compare this thing with this thing then our Euler's equation are i am calling it g right so it will be gy minus dy by dx oh, i'm sorry first i'll write for x gx minus dy by dt of gx dot is equal to 0 and gy minus dy by dt of gy dot is equal to 0 right so where we arrived is we had this functional j of y is equal to a x1 to x2 f x y y dash dx and the Euler's equation was fy minus dy by dx of fy dash is equal to 0. And then we have this functional xy which is t1 to t2 g of t xy x dot y dot dt. Okay. Where this is equal to f x y y dot upon x dot times x dot. This thing is equal to this. This is the relation between this f and this g. Okay. And in this case. The, sequ uh, the set of Euler's equation we have written is curly g by curly x minus dy by dt of 
curly g by curly x dot is equal to 0 and curly g by curly y minus dy by dt of curly g by okay now obviously we know that if the curve is given here in this case the curve is in, given in the form of y is equal to y of x and here in the, this situation the curve is given in the form of y is a function of t and x is a function of t okay now we know that basically these two are same curves right so if this thing this particular thing satisfies this equation okay and then whether or not we write its parametric form it should also satisfy this set of equation right if we can verify that if we can verify that then obviously we can uh, always use this as the set of the equations Euler's equation whenever we we are given the admissible curves in the form of parametric in the parametric form right so all we need to verify is whenever this quantity is zero then these two equations are satisfied whenever this equation is satisfied these two equations are also satisfied and this is the relation between f and g okay so that's the simple job we can do all you have to do you have to convert uh, uh, you have to see whether for for this thing is equal to zero these two equations are satisfied or not okay let us do that i have g is equal to f x y y dot upon x dot times x dot so basically this is my y dash right the first thing i need is curly g by curly x right so you need curly g by curly x curly g by curly x is simply your x appears here so you have this curly g by curly x is equal to curly f by curly x times this x dot as such okay this is one quantity we need it here okay then curly g by curly x dot curly g by curly x dot is you can see First, you have to uh, you have to apply the product rule. Here is your x dot. So first, I I'll do the differentiation with respect to this x dot. So I'll get f as such, and then x dot as such. Okay. Times. First of all, I have to differentiate this thing. Okay. I, 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 there will be chain rule. F differentiation of f with respect to this quantity, and this quantity is actually y dash. So f y dash times the differentiation of this quantity with respect to x dot that will be minus one uh, y dot upon x dot square so that is equal to that is equal to f minus y dot i'm sorry okay minus y dot upon x dot times f y dash that is equal to this y dot upon x dot is actually y dash so that is equal to f y minus y dash f y dash okay is that thing clear now we need to compute dy by dt of we actually need this thing right we need this thing so we need dy by dt of curly g by curly x dot that will be dy by dt of this f minus y dash f y dash okay so we have to compute this thing right so let us do that so what is this this is your i can write it as dy by dx of f minus y dash f y dash times dx by dt so that will be x dot dy by dx of f minus y dash f y dash okay so now you can just differentiate it f is a function of x y and y, da y dash so when you differentiate it, so you will get first thing curly f by curly x. Then the second thing will be, sorry, just you differentiate this quantity df by dx minus dy by dx of y dash f y dash, right? Now, Now you have this, this thing with you that dy by dt of curly g by curly x dot is equal to x dot times dy by d, dx of f minus dy by dx of y dash f y dash. Okay. So I can, now this f is a function of x, y and y dash. So this is y dash, not y dot. So this is x dot times you just apply this so you'll get f curly f by curly x plus curly f by curly y times differentiation of y with respect to x that will be y dash plus 
differentiation of f with respect to y dash that is curly f by curly y dash times differentiation of y dash with respect to s uh, s x that is y double dash minus dy by dx of okay that also we will do now you have to differentiate first this here you will apply the product rule so it will be minus y double dash f y that is curly f by curly y dash f y dash it is y dash right now again this y f y dash is the function of x y y dash so it will be next term will be first we have to apply product rule we have differentiated this thing and kept this thing as such next time we will keep this thing as such so we will keep y dash as such and the derivative of f y dash okay now these two terms cancel so you you are left with x dot okay and from here and here y dash will be common y dash times curly f by curly y minus dy by dx of curly f by this f y dash no curly y dash and this term plus curly f by curly x this is what you get as dy by dt of curly g by curly x dot now let us see what is this curly g by curly x plus dy by dt of curly g by curly x dot this thing will be equal to you had obtained curly g by curly x as curly g by sorry curly g by curly x its value was curly f by curly x times x dot here it was minus okay minus dy by dt of this thing dy by dt of this thing is equal to this thing so you have this whole quantity i'm just separating this term and this term it will be minus x dot times curly f by curly x and rest is minus x dot y dash times curly f by curly y minus dy by dx of curly f by curly y dash okay these two terms cancel so you are left with x dot y dash times curly f by curly y minus dy by dx of curly f by curly y dash okay now whenever this quantity is zero so whenever euler's equation is satisfied this equation is zero uh, uh, this quantity is also zero okay so we get that whenever whenever f y minus d y by d x of f y dash is equal to zero then g x minus d y by d t of g x dot is zero okay similarly you can prove that g y minus d y by d t of g y dot is zero okay so it means that whenever your curve is given in the form y is equal to y of x okay in that case euler's equation is satisfied and suppose this is not given in this form but in this form y is a function of t and x is a function of t then these two conditions are satisfied and and, and these are nothing but the euler's equations only for the case where, uh, case when your functional is of the form g t x y x dot y dot dt right so now we know how to solve the equations uh, solve the problems when our admissible curves are given in the parametric form right let us look at one example so you can just revisit our examples we have already done suppose we want to know the smallest the curve with the smallest distance joining two points and now instead of y is equal to y of x we have this form x is equal to x t y is equal to y t so we have to minimize the distance we know what is the formula for distance distance is dx square plus dy square okay earlier we used to change it as 1 plus dy by dx square dx but because y in terms of x was given but now x in terms of t is given and y in terms of t is given so i'll write it like this okay right therefore the thing we have to minimize is our functional is xy that is summation ds that is dx square that is x, uh, dx by dt square so uh, this is x dot t square plus y dot t square times dt right so now this is my functional uh, integrand i have to apply the Euler's equation on this. I have this Euler's equation. This is my f. So I have f x minus dy by dx of sorry dy by dt of f x dot is equal to zero and f y minus dy by dt of f y dot is equal to zero. 
from here you'll get this thing is 0 there is no explicitly uh, available x minus dy by dt of this thing will be x dot upon x dot square plus y dot square is equal to 0 and here we will get 0 minus dy by dt of y dot upon x dot square plus y dot square is equal to 0 so we get x dot is equal to constant and y dot is equal to constant so you get x dot this is some other constant x is equal to a1 t plus b1 and y is equal to a2 t plus b2 right and this is the equation of a line okay so this is how we can solve the problems thank you